On one of the forums I'm on, um, somebody asked a question about stopping cracking here. Um, because sometimes these are quite tight and even um, sharp angles uh, on original armour. They're not always radiuses like here, because this was just nice and easy to cut with the scissors, I think. Um, whereas it goes to a quite a sharp angle, um, looking certainly at the effigy, so we can't trust that one way or another. Uh, to be entirely accurate, but still a damn good representation, but that's for another one altogether. But anyway, the simple question was, how do you stop cracking from acting here? Because when you're working all this and it's moving around and doing stuff, there can be a weakness there and it can snap and cause a crack, like I showed how to uh, drill the crack out if you end up with one. So I'm working on this knee at the moment. So what I did, you can see if I can stay out of the light, that when I cut it, I just followed a nice gentle radius that the cutters gave me. Uh, there, so I marked it up briefly so you can see here. I don't tend to put this in until the last minute, but um, what you do is when you're working it all and you're doing all your work uh, on the polyne or the wing, whichever one you're doing first. In this case, I've put this bit in first because it's just got some straight lines on it, nice and simple. Um, give yourself extra material along here. And it means you've got to work a bit harder around here to get that to bend because it's not nice and narrow like it will be on the back. It will be here eventually, but you can see what I'm on about. It just just gives you that leeway, which you can then drill a hole if you like to and cut to it or cut it out or do whatever. There are plenty of cases um, when you find original stuff with cracks actually shown on it. Now, whether those have been subsequent to the hundreds of years that they've been going or were their early days, I don't know. I don't know what their attitude was towards it. Um, but rather than cut it straight to it, give yourself a nice bit of leeway like this. I tend to find the cutters will give you a nice gentle radius. You don't need to go nuts and figure it out or come from up here. It just makes it such hard work for you. Um, and there you go. So what was that? It's about a finger's width, just under. You see I've been really accurate. No one's wider than that one. It doesn't really matter. But that radius stops all that. But just be aware of it when you're working this edge and trying to bring that all over nicely. But this will resist you and make it a bit harder. But there you go. Something nice and straightforward and an easy way to avoid cracking on wings for polyne and cooters in particular.